Communication is one of the most important aspects of design. Static designs communicate how your product looks, but prototypes let you experience how they might feel. Use prototypes to test and tune your designs, or share them during user testing studies to validate your ideas before investing in development. Prototyping in Figma allows you to build connections between frames, define triggers and actions, and create transitional animations with easing options to bring your prototypes to a higher fidelity. In our previous video, we covered how to create flows between static design frames by creating connections. Click the Prototype tab in the right side bar, or use the keyboard shortcut to enter prototyping. Hover over the starting frame until the connection node appears. Then, click the connection node and drag to the desired destination to create a connection. Figma will create an arrow from the node to the destination. Learn more about creating connections with our previous video. Now, you can customize the interaction and animation. Selecting a connection will open the Interaction Details window from the right side panel, where you can customize your interaction. You can view and select the trigger, action, transition, and other properties of the animation, including duration, direction, and easing. You can also add additional interactions to your connection by clicking on the plus icon in the right side panel. Click the minus icon to remove an interaction. The trigger determines what type of interaction a user needs to take to start a transition. This could be a mouse or a touch interaction like tap, drag, click, or hover. The default trigger is on tap, with other options like none, on drag, while hovering, while pressing, key slash gamepad, and more. Next, the action defines the type of transition that occurs when the trigger criteria is met. The default is set to, navigate to, which takes the user from one frame in your prototype to the destination. Other options include none, back, and open link, and others. Learn more in our other video or by clicking the links in the description. After you've selected your trigger and action, you can select the animation. This defines how the action moves from the starting point to the destination. First, you can choose the transition type. Instant immediately takes the user to the destination. Dissolve fades in the destination on top of the original frame. Smart Animate matches layers between each frame and animates the changes to properties like position, scale, and color between them. Learn more about Smart Animate by watching this video or by clicking the links in the description. Move In and Out will slide the destination frame into or out of view above the original frame. Push will push out the original frame as the destination frame is moved into view. Slide in and slide out will move the destination frame into or out of view as it offsets and dissolves the starting frame. For move in and out, slide in and out, and push, you can set directions to left, right, down, and up. You can also smart animate assets inside those transitions for more detailed animations. All of these animations can be previewed by mousing over the preview window. Except for instant, all animation options have the ability to control their easing. Easing refers to the way the computer interpolates or smoothly transitions between two keyframes. This is calculated using a mathematical function. Standardized easing curves include ease in, ease out, ease in and out, and linear. More advanced easing options include ease in back, ease out back, and ease in and out back. You can also select custom to create custom Bezier easing curves. For a more comprehensive view into easing curves, check out our other video tutorial. The duration controls the overall length of time for an animation in milliseconds, while overflow behavior controls how the users can interact with content that extends beyond a device's dimensions. Use the prototype tab to create connections between frames, select triggers, actions, transitional animations, and easing options, as well as add functionality to your prototypes. Take your designs to a high fidelity to communicate your ideas. Subscribe to Figma for the latest product and community news.